Phil Prince here. Um, a few of you have been asking about the filament stand I've got for this little K10. Um, I designed up uh, this just based on a few things that I've seen online and um, just wanting a little frame that could go over the top. Um, yeah, it's printed out a PLA at the moment. It's a bit droopy. I think I'm going to redesign it for you guys so that you can print it in uh, a few parts and just push it together or clip it together. Uh, on any sort of Ender 3 sized printer or similar um, and yeah it's a little bit big to be able to print exactly on the K10 itself without splitting it into a million parts so I'll jump over on the computer, over, load up Fusion and see what we can do there we go so here we are, this is the previous version that I had, the original one um, I had some pins locking in the verticals um, we have our uh, filament loader, so I'll, I'll share the original uh, STL model for this holder. Um, but yes, it's uh, I had it set up so we had some threaded inserts going through here. That didn't work very well, um, just because of the amount of weight on the pressure on the edge and my threaded insert abilities aren't amazing. So um, yeah, I'll switch you over now to uh, the redesign version. So we have it here. I've got it all split up as the pins, but I've added um, an inbuilt tolerance of 0 0.2 of a millimeter between all faces just to allow um, some nice um, connections. If it's a little bit loose, it's not the end of the world. Um, you can throw a little bit of glue or something in there, or um, I can adjust it once I've printed it myself to see. Um, this will require at least two of the um, standard ball rollers that you get on V-slot um, printers or something similar. You can probably use a ball bearing as well, uh, but the gauge in here is just set up for the standard V-slot rollers that you find on any of your extrusion uh, 3D printers like the Ender 3 or anything similar. So um, then we'll go over into Bamboo Slicer. Uh, I'm going to print this on my P1S uh, just because it's got a decent bed size. So this will print um, on anything that has a 220 bed, I believe. Um, you obviously will need to change your thing, but you can put it on an angle and these will print just fine on a 220 by 220 bed like an Ender. Um, yeah, so it's the old one, that's the new one. And then we'll jump over into Bamboo Studio. So it's gonna be two beds here. Um, I'm gonna run this with the strength profile, um, I'm going to drop the infill down to 10%, maybe even 5% because it's the external walls that are going to give us the strength anyway. Change it over to gyroid infill, um, drop the loops back to 5, 5, and 5, and we'll hit slice on plate 1. Let's see what we get. So, we have our line type, it's going to be a 5 hour print. It's a bit of a Bit of a big one. Let's see what it looks like inside. Um, look, let's just throw it. I might go adaptive cubic and just see if we get a bit of difference here. Um, prints a bit faster and I think that will be more than okay. So I'm gonna send that over to my P1S and I will show you the time lapse of this going on. All right, I have everything here printed out. Um, hopefully the cam camera angle is decent. Um, I don't really, I'm just trying to use a little tripod that I have. Um, so I've just taken my um, file off uh, after I finished the print and just lightly use a bit of sandpaper or whatever you want. Just take the edges off. Um, just for this one, because it is a little bit, the tolerance is quite tight. Um, I used a little bit of um, silicon lubricant, lubricant as well, um, which has helped it go on. So this should now just slide straight on. 
just like that. Make sure you do that first. Um, I've put the V-slot wheels in as well. So they're now mounted. Um, that can be a bit tricky. Be careful with that. Uh, you can sit it on the edge of the table, hold the wheel here and tap it with a hammer. That works quite well. Um, just because the PETG, if you use PETG, is quite strong. Uh, you can do it in PLA as well, but just doesn't have that same initial flex because it tries to be quite strong. <laughs> so we have our pieces here. Uh, let's go next one here. Should just slide in and press fit like so. Same on the other side. Push on, line up. Grab one of your pegs, push in, well, as long as it's lined up nicely, it should press fit. If they are a little bit tight, feel free to take them out. Use a little hammer like this. Tap her in. Um, I will tidy that up in a second. I think it's just not quite sitting in that side. So just off camera so I'm not too loud. I'm gonna put on the, on the ground and give it a little tap. I'll bring it back. As you can see, all nice and flush now. So these can be a little bit tight. Of course you can grab your file or sandpaper and just sand these down just to take the little printing edges off them. It's very tolerant dependent. So if your printer prints a little bit large, adjust those, those um, settings in the slicer. But yeah, you'll be fine. Next one is left leg. Same thing. And right leg. Same thing again. Just give it a little tap. Nice and flush. Squeeze it in. And there we have it. You can adjust your roller so it's the right size there. And we have a nice stable unit. I will put it over on my K10 and um, give it a go. All done here now, so we've got it uh, all ready to go. Filament, spool up and on, and that's it. Beautiful, rolls like a dream, and uh, new holder. The old one worked, but this is much neater, and uh, hopefully you guys can make one if you want to. I did um, also print one out like this. Um, this is just the base version. I'll, I'll link the um, printables, I think link for the person who made the original one this is big enough um, or the k10 is big enough to print this on it um, so and you can just screw this to anything into a wall a shelf anything that's above the top you can make this frame in timber you don't have to do it out of uh, plastic just a timber frame would work fine if you wanted to do that as well or um, yeah just screw it to the wall if it's, if, if, you, if that's not a problem and you have it all sorted. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I hope this really helps someone. Um, just seems to make this little printer work much, much better. Thanks for watching, I hope this uh, has helped someone out. Um, it was a bit of a fun experience to redesign something that uh, I've looked at before, um, just to make it a bit more user friendly. Uh, still a bit of adjustments needed in the sense of um, Tolerances on the slide up there are a bit tight. Uh, you may need to sand that top bar just to slide it in. Um, and the same thing with the V slots. So um, good luck. Hope you have fun trying. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.